Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. First, I wanna say a big thank you because when I posted my last video, the reading blog, I was not anticipating for so many thoughtful, smart, kind comments. Because even though it was a reading vlog, we talked about imposter syndrome, being single or in relationships during, you know, all of this. And I don't, a lot of your comments, I'm not just saying this, were genuinely so, so helpful. So thank you so much. But I mentioned briefly in that video that with the holidays coming up, I wondered if there were any bookish, and especially a lot of, not all of these are related to horror or thrillers, but some bookish recommendations for gifts for the holidays. I would apologize for this going up a little bit late, but let's be very transparent with each other. Most of you are watching this to buy stuff for yourself, <laughs> at least I'm assuming. First is probably the thing that in my Instagram posts I get the most questions about, and that is my shining carpet. This is from Threadless, and I have the 5x7 rug. I think it's a good starter rug in the sense that there aren't a ton of actually surprises so shining style carpets out there. The quality of this carpet is not great, it's not soft, but for the price, I think you're just getting what you pay for. Rugs are one of those things where when you get older, you realize that unfortunately, a good quality rug is very expensive, <laughs> but I wasn't getting something with the intention of it being high quality. But I think even if you get someone a tiny one, you know, for, I don't know, their kitchen, I think it would, this would actually be a really cute, you know, kitchen rug. Next is this purse. For those of you who have been subscribed to my channel for a long period of time, this will look really familiar because I remember getting this in the mail and being so excited. It was one of the first things, granted even back then it was not sponsored, not an affiliate link, but they just sent this to me. And I remember being the first thing I was ever sent and just incredibly, incredibly excited about. But the company is called Crew Crew Studio Books and all of, obviously all of these linked down below, but they make the most amazing handbags. They have a lot of ones that are kind of creepy and old fashioned looking that you can select from, a lot of Harry Potter ones. And then they also, I think this option is up on their website, this is what I did. They asked if there was a book that I loved that wasn't listed on their site. And one of my favorite underrated horror novels is The Elementals by Michael McDowell and I thought it would look really cute as a bag. This is the thing out of everything, if I step out of the house and I'm wearing it, this is the one thing that I always get a ton of compliments on. Even my doctor was like, where is that from? Because I want to get my wife a Lord of the Rings one. If you're getting one of their larger bags like this, I think it ranges from about $85 to a little over $100, but keep in mind these are handmade. And if maybe you don't want to splurge on a big one, they also have the option for smaller wallets, and those I think go for around $35. Next, the Creepy Co. Throw Blankets. I told, this is one of the things I put on my Christmas list for my parents. We'll see if I get it, but it's, they're about 30 bucks, with a, which I think is, you know, fair and reasonable. Granted, again, I haven't received this, so I can't, you know, comment on the quality, but I think this is such a fun gift at a really good price point, and they have so many different horror options that are really, really fun. Just look awesome. They have other things on their website, but personally I think the blankets are the most interesting. Next is just everything on a certain Etsy shop, and that is Haunted and Historic. This is run by Courtney. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen I had a long series of Instagram stories because at the second she showed me her shop and said, you know, that she'd be interested in sending me a few things, I was over the moon and her price points are so, so fair, you know, really, really inexpensive. And she makes, for example, I don't know if it's gonna focus, but this is a scrunchie that says, as text from The Shining, it has fake blood on it. This stays on my wrist at all times. She also makes bookmarks. And I'll be honest, I'm not actually a big bookmark person. I just dog ear because I own, you know, my books. I like dog earing them. But I love these so much, and this one has a plant with a creepy eye and a nice little tassel with some spiders on it. There's something about these, and this sounds so stupid, but like the sound it makes, that like makes it really satisfying to put in the book. I don't know what it is about it, but again, the prices are so fair, and she's other things besides this. So especially if maybe you're on a budget, want to support a small business and get some fun, creepy little items, her shop is awesome. This next recommendation is another place where similar to the throw rugs I've never purchased from the site before, but it's on my Christmas list. So, but it is Studio House Designs and they have the most amazing, unique horror t-shirts. I think what they're mainly known, known for are their long sleeve t-shirts that I thought I'd share because if you like horror, I think this shop is awesome. I also wanted to show if you're someone like me who finally got a Kindle after waiting maybe too long. The case my family got for me for my birthday, I want to say, I looked on their website, these normally cost about $40. But these are, just as a warning, they take forever to come in the mail. My mom 
said I think she's waiting almost a month and a half, two months. But as it says on the inside, you won't be able to see, it says handmade by the Manor, Manor Bindery, Hampshire, England. And this is from Clever Case. She didn't realize she was getting me Einstein's theory of everything. She just liked the cover because it looked like an antique. But they have some that do look very creepy and especially ones that look very Victorian. And you know, if I'm gonna have a Kindle cover, I want it to look like an old creepy book. And the quality, it's magnetic, is really, really nice. Now we've been talking about bookish things, but I thought I would actually talk about actual books for a second. And if there's an independent book company that I wanna support, it's Valancourt Books. They have the most amazing editions of Michael McDowell. And they also just have a really unique, I think, array of horror novels that are really underrated. A lot of ones that were published years and years ago that haven't seen the light of day and been republished in a long time. I'm, I have no background in the literary world as much as someone who has a booktube channel, so I'm probably explaining that all wrong. But if you want unique horror novels that look really vintage and cool, I highly recommend Valancourt Books. And then finally, this one's a little bit more on the pricey side, at least what I consider pricey with it being $60, but this is handmade. I don't own one of these, and I just discovered this recently a couple weeks ago, but going forward, I'm probably gonna buy one for myself or I'll put it on. But they are little creepy looking miniature libraries that are handmade on Etsy, and I love the idea that each one is incredibly unique. And the person even like decorated them with cobwebs for Halloween. But I think this is a nice substitute for, I'm not sure if you all have seen these, they're like inserts you can buy and put in your bookshelf. They're generally incredibly expensive, as beautiful as they are. And I think this would look so fun in a bookshelf and also isn't, you know, breaking the bank. And, the, and again, no ties to this place, I just happened to come across it and I think it looks awesome. So that was my list of creepy, or not all creepy, but sometimes creepy bookish holiday gift ideas. Please share if you have places you love down below. I'm definitely going to film a part two for Vlogmas, but it probably won't be up until the end of December after the holidays, because I think I'm just gonna do a part one and part two. But again, thank you so much for all the wonderful and really kind comments on my last video. I hope you and your families are staying safe considering everything going on, and I hope you have a great holiday season if you celebrate, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.